the Castis! Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded. You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order, for peace, for Atlantis. For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Dicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Once Poseidon finds out what you've done, he won't let you get away with it. That is our way. The way of progress. You are not one of us. I've seen your compassion to those who dwell in this city. Perhaps our ways are not as perfect as Poseidon thinks they are. Parents do what they think is best, but it doesn't mean they're always right. We have to look after each other, no matter what we're told. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision, for the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. This city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis, and for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. Devices are incredible. I almost feel like I can hear them speaking to me.
Α, δικαστή! I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? Slow down. Why don't you just tell me what it is you need from me? Oh, apologies, Nicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. It looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. Must be the device Neocles mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. down. Something's blocking. 
this. Something's in the way. Beautiful. That should do it. I'll tell Neocles it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened?
I moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Oh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. There might be something wrong with your theory. I still don't see how this light is any better than the sun. The sun! That's it! The power source must also be displaced, rendering this light no different than the sun. No wonder you're the Dicastis. That's brilliant! So the next step is? Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... It's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there.